Good morning, guys. So, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 9, 9.30 in the morning. And today, we are doing a what I eat in a day video. So, I'm basically showing you guys what I eat typically on a normal day if I'm not going out to eat or if I'm not somewhere special. So this is pretty much what I eat if I'm home and I'm cooking and doing all of that stuff. So if you guys wanna see this video, then please keep on watching. But before I start, if you guys are new here, hi, my name is Joy. I do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle related videos such as these. So if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell so that way you are notified every time I upload a video. That is that. So let's go ahead and start this day with the most important meal of the day, which is breakfast. this is my breakfast so basically it's two scrambled eggs with a little bit of garlic salt some pepper on a whole wheat tortilla I put a little bit of cheese like some Mexican mixed cheese for like quesadillas and whatnot into the egg mix and then also onto the tortilla um, and then I'm also gonna put a little bit of the Taco Bell fire sauce you can't go wrong and then for my coffee I'm gonna put a little bit of my natural bliss hazelnut this is my absolute favorite creamer and i'm just going to use this for my coffee and this is pretty much what i eat for breakfast It is much later. It is about 1.45 in the afternoon and it is definitely time for lunch. 
And I know this is not your typical lunch, but I am not super hungry, so I decided to just do a green smoothie. So inside my green smoothie, I ended up blending some frozen strawberries, frozen pineapples, and frozen mangoes. I did add some kale into the mix for some protein, and then I did also add a half um, of the cup of almond milk, again, for some protein, and then I did add some chia seeds as well for protein and some crushed ice, and that's pretty much it for my green smoothie. And then also too, I do drink lemon water throughout the day. So this is basically my lunch. It'll keep me full right before dinner. Of course, I will have an afternoon snack, but this is my lunch and I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I forgot to mention that I added a whole banana into my smoothie. A banana is a must. It's gonna give my smoothie that natural sweetness with the natural sugars. So yes, a banana is a definite must into my green smoothies. All right guys, so it is much later now. It is 4.15 in the afternoon and I am getting quite hungry just because I had a really small lunch. All I had was my green smoothie. It did fill me up, but I'm getting a little hungry, so I think it's time for a mid-afternoon snack, which I have two options here. Typically, I would snack on these right here. These are the Harvest Snaps Snap Pea Crisps in the Flavor Caesar. These are my absolute favorite, just because they're super light yet it fills you up right between meals or I typically do a bag of peanuts or nuts um, these are the planters honey roasted peanuts these are 160 calories per pack um, and if you're wondering it has seven grams of protein in this little packet of nuts lay low for a little bit my little mid afternoon snack it definitely fills me up especially right before dinner um so typically i eat my dinner around 6 6 30 and or sometimes seven o'clock if i'm running behind so hopefully i can get my dinner prepped and ready to go so that way i can have an early dinner so i'm just going to continue drinking my lemon water and I will check back with you guys when it comes down to dinner time. So it's definitely much later since the last time I spoke to you guys with my mid-afternoon snack. It is now 7.15 p.m. in the evening and it is dinner time. So this is currently what I'm having for dinner. 
Basically, it is some brown rice with some green onions. I've got some sauteed broccoli, yellow squash, and carrots with just a little bit of olive oil and some salt, some pepper, and some uh, Italian seasoning. And then over here is some sauteed tofu with the Chinese stir fry mix. And then of course I'm having some water with lemon. And then of course you can't have tofu without sriracha. Like this is a must. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my dinner and I will catch with you guys soon. I honestly think I have lipstick all over my mouth but I don't even care because that was the best dinner I've ever had in my entire life. Okay, maybe not the best dinner I've ever had in my entire life, but today's dinner was pretty darn good. It was amazing. Like literally, I'm not gonna lie, I had two servings. This is definitely my late, 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 late night snack. Because it's super, super late now. I don't even know what time it is. And I don't care. Because this yogurt is amazing. And for those of you wondering, it is Tillamook farm style Greek yogurt in Oregon strawberry. It is amazing. And I put a little bit of this granola, and it's basically from Nature's Path Organic. And it's a honey almond granola, and it's so cool because it has almonds, it has chia seeds, it has granola. It's amazing. And I always make sure I put it in my yogurt. Okay. I'm going to enjoy this. Bye. Alright guys, so that is it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed my what I eat in a day video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments what you guys love to eat. If you're a vegetarian, a vegan, or a non-vegetarian, non-vegan, whatever the case is, let me know in the comments what you guys love to eat. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.